Today is October 23rd. Uh, we're primarily on Peyton's uh, back end. Haven't seen her for about, about a week. Um, first time we spent some uh, time doing some technical instruction on her back end. Although we went through several things uh, at the end of the, uh, the technical instruction. What I ended up deciding was that um, um, she's able to learn all of this, uh, these technical co corrections on the ba on the backhand side. But the most important thing that she she has to master first is first top of the balance, which is she's 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 getting it. But the absolute most important thing for her to to, to master at this point is her contact point being more uh, towards the outside of her body rather than being crammed in. Show me what it means. All right, the net is going to be over that direction. Okay, so go to do the stroke. All right, and then go to contact point. Okay, so con what she does is when she makes contact, so this this out here is the relationship on the ball, the contact point to her body. Like this is a, not a, not a bad contact point. What she does is she will uh, bend, bend this elbow because you, you you do your dinosaur arms. Right? She crams everything in, and so her contact point moves from out, out here to more inside. And so what happens is all of these structures right here, she uses her incorrect muscles. So despite the corrections that we made on her backhand, right, if she does not correct this contact point distance hitting more on the outside, uh, I'm trying to hit more towards the top of the strings right there, um, all of these other, all of this will, is going to happen and, and the, the technical corrections won't be able to be ex executed. Hit more, get on the, uh, get back. No man's land. Okay. All right. So the corrections that we did make uh, basically were FRS, right? So F FRS, forearm, racket, make a, make a straight line, uh, make the triangle. So go, go to triangle, go. We had her make, no, right there. She could not do that at the beginning of practice. She could not make the structure like this. Uh, she needs to keep her elbow tucked in from contact point uh, to the triangle position. We had her at the, the service line and then also at the baseline, hitting and freezing at this position. She was able, able to do it uh, quite well after a, a bit of practice. Um, also go to ready position. Ready position, so on when on ready position, from ready position to the initial, yep, uh, we want her to take the racket to go back with the unit turn with her body. We want her body to, to, to make the racket go back and then and then go ahead and make sure she takes it back low and not, not pop it up, right? Okay, um, that was basically all the instruction. Also go, go, go to uh, right here. Okay, so you make this bump, right? Using, you want to use her to use. Uh, case is falling. Off. Want her to use these muscles up here. Uh, she she uses these muscles here. So we want to use her to use these muscles here. She when she hits, right? Kind of put. Okay. So you go to triangle. Go. So that this so that this moves. A lot of times, what happens is it's stuck down here. Go and then swing. No, and then and then finish your swing like you do your dinosaur arms. Right? She does that. So this is this does not move, and power is there. Not uh, if she loses a lot of it, she doesn't move. That. Anything else? No. We worked today also on uh, um, on resetting to good ready position. Um, had a little bit of issue with her where she was not like moving intensely. Uh, so we, uh, when we went to live ball, so we had to go ahead and and, uh, and do five ten ten ball uh, ten ball rallies uh, where she was like, all right, you have to hit five balls. Um, with super intensity. Five balls with super intensity. I'm watching your brother. He's trying to make him mad. Okay. And um, just to emphasize to her that it, it, the, the, the reason behind me forcing her to, to do a good intensity, a good reset, is that when she does that, she practices to be a better player. Right? And this mentality of practicing always to be a better player when you are practicing is the way that she needs to approach her practices. She practices at a, at a slower speed. She practices at a lesser intensity. She is practicing to be a lesser player, right? So she understood that, so uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, anything else? No. All right, see you next time.